I want to share with you a couple of really neat little shell utilities. These little command line programs I'm talking about today are the fold command and the format command or FMT command. Now both of these programs, fold and format, they're a part of the GNU core utils and there's so many GNU core utils, right? This It's hard to know what each and every one of them do because many of them are very specialized and the two programs I'm talking about today, they're very specialized in what they do. You're not going to need to use them that often, but when you you need them they're fantastic so let's start with the fold command so let me switch over to a terminal here and have you ever wanted to limit the output as far as the number of characters on a line of output for example let me cat my bash rc and of course it's going to print my bash rc the contents of it to standard output here and some of the lines here are quite long right and i'm zoomed in in the terminal so some of these lines are broken in weird spots and but what if you know to make this a little easier to read you know i could actually specify that for example i only want the line widths to be let's make it 60 characters and let's see if that solves the line break problem yeah now you can see once it gets to the 60th character we get a break now one of the unfortunate things with the way i structured that is that we get a break in the middle of the word for example a N D and that spells the word and but it split it right there in between the N and the D and the word and well we can actually specify to not break words so if I give it dash S and then in this case dash W for width and then the 60 characters the dash S tells it don't break in the middle of the words break on the spaces so now it breaks every 60 characters, but it won't break in the middle of a word. It'll go to the closest space. Now, when I discovered this command, you know, I'm, I'm going to use it all the time now that I actually know it exists, because how many times are you looking at things in output in a terminal, especially in a TTY, uh, yeah, and you want to actually specify the number of characters to each line, you know, the number of columns in that output, just for readability purposes this makes a lot of sense not to mention that sometimes you will use the fold command to actually permanently change a file because what if i wanted to permanently change my bash rc to having these line breaks well that's easy enough to do with redirection so what you would do is i would do a, a fold dash s for respect the spaces and then dash w will do 60 and then what are we taking as input well we're taking my bash rc and then also redirect to output and we're going to output that to output.txt and if i run that command if i do an ls i should now have output.txt here and if i open that with vim this is my bash rc itself now it has all the spaces right after the 60th character right the 60th column there so it, it would be all jacked up probably if i actually tried to use this as my proper bash rc but you could see in certain circumstances in your scripting your programming maybe in your uh, fictional writing, if you're like a professional writer or something, how this fold command could be extremely useful. Now, there's not a lot of options with the fold command. Again, it's a very simple command. Matter of fact, the two flags I just showed you, dash W was the width, and then you want to do the number, and dash S or dash dash spaces for the long form. That's essentially it. You could also break on bytes, you know, the byte count rather than the uh, well, width. But either way, it's essentially very much the same. I do a man on fold just to make sure there are no other options. Yeah, there's really nothing here other than, again, dash W and dash s now let me clear the screen let's talk about the format command or fmt so what this command does it can reformat text by joining its paragraphs and limiting the line width to a number of characters similar to what fold does so let's talk about joining paragraphs let me actually echo something to the terminal here so let me echo and i'm going to echo the word one and then let's do a new line break two and then a new line break three and then we'll echo that to the terminal of course to have echo respect the new lines we need to do dash e so so it knows that the backslash ends are new lines rather than actually printing the backslash ends 
at the output. And now we get one new line, two new line, three. You could essentially see these as three different paragraphs. And if I up arrow and just pipe that into FMT, you can see it took the three paragraphs and made them one paragraph. And we could see this in action on something that has proper paragraphs, maybe my bash RC. So before, you know, I did the uh, cat dot bash RC and then I piped it into fold. I could pipe that into format. Now this is a useless use of cat here because instead of cat bash RC and then piping into both fold and format, both of them would have taken uh, input for, as a f argument. So I could have done fold, for example, you know, dash SW60 dot bash RC. And same thing here with format. I could do format and then dot bash RC. And if I scroll up, it may be hard to tell what's going on here, but it jacked up my bash RC in the format command because like this here is a whole bunch of aliases that were each on their own line that it condensed into one paragraph, right? Same thing here. These were like about eight or 10 different aliases that were all on their own line and it put them all into one paragraph. And that's really about it with format. Kind of like fold, there's not much to it. If I do a TLDR on format, uh, you really, I mean, you have some flags and options. You have a dash W and then a number for limiting the, the width of the line. Same thing, so very similar to what fold does. Other than that, the only really unique and useful thing has this dash U flag for uniform spacing. And what this does, it makes sure that there's exactly one space between words and two spaces between paragraphs. It forces it to be one space between words and two spaces between paragraphs. And that can be really useful because I know sometimes I will get stuff off of the internet. Maybe there's some bad uh, copy paste things going on where I will have for example, something that is all jacked up. It has weird numbers of spaces, sometimes one space between words, sometimes two spaces, sometimes three spaces between words, and it'll just look all funny. Well, you could use format dash U to actually get that thing back to proper spacing. Let me show you this in action. Let's clear the screen and I'll just create something real quick. We'll do another echo dash E and I'm gonna do one space two on a line, then new line, and then do three space space four. Uh, I did an extra space there and then a new line and then five space 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 six, right? And then you know, if I echo that, you know, it looks kind of funny, right? I've got some, some weird spacing going on. Well, if I up arrow and pipe that into format and give it the dash U flag, look what happens. Now it's one paragraph and it correctly puts the spacing back to one space between each of the words. So there you have it, a little bit of what you can do with the format command, as well as earlier I showed you the fold command. The fold command I was really excited about because I've been doing a, a little scripting here lately, and I actually needed the fold command to properly do what I wanted to do in one of the scripts I've, I've been creating. And I may actually share some of the scripts I've been working on here on camera here in the near future. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of this episode. And of course, I'm talking about Matt, Steve, Cap, Cave, Mandarloff, Lee, Methos, Arion, Paul, Peace, Arch, and Vador, Realities for Less, Red Prophet, Roland, War Gentoo, and Ubuntu, and Willie. These guys, they're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon without these guys. This quick look at the fold command and the format command would not have been possible. The show is brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen as well. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now, these are all my support over on Patreon because I don't have any corporate sponsors. I'm sponsored by you guys, the community. If you love my work and want to see more videos about Linux, free and open source software, including these great command line utilities, subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. Peace, guys.